Hi everyone, so this is Lizzie with the Love From Lizzie July release. Um, if you've just nipped over from the Love From Lizzie July card kit unboxing, you will have had a good walkthrough of this. I'm just showing you this here now because I'm gonna first up show you the add-ons and then I'm gonna show you the release for the rest of the month. So, let's dig straight in. There are some new bits um, by popular request into the shop um, and there are some little paper blooms in varying shades of pinks, yellows there and then similar ones in white and these are smaller than these ones but the thing that's good about them and being in white is that you can colour them up with like your distress inks or um, your watercolours However, you know, the sprays, you, they, they look really good, like a mottled effect. Um, and then also we have leaves. So those guys are all in the shop. We have got, naturally, peel-offs. The Love From Lizzie peel-offs as well. Um, in black, you do get pink in the kit. However, black would be a nice addition. We have also got these alphabets. Now, I had originally wanted to put these into the actual kit, uh, but I blew the budget something rotten this month <laughs> again. <laughs> um, so I am offering them as an add-on. Um, and this is gonna be the way that the kits are gonna go going forward because they've all got the full stat size stamp set um, and there's lots of custom things now that I'm having manufactured. Um, there are going to be more suggested add-ons for the little bits and pieces that I would have usually liked to have been able to include. So you've got black gems in the kit. These are pink, exactly the same. And then we have the stickers. Now these are obviously made to be exactly the same. Let's see if I can get them all in. These, so these are the chipboard stickers. They're self-adhesive. And like these little banners, for example, they've got tiny holes punched in them. So you could lace some of the twine that's in the kit through those. Uh, and so you've got frames, you've got beautiful, you know, there's some really gorgeous, I mean, that's enormous, it's beautiful. Um, lots of lovely pieces in there. The clear stickers are available this month. And there are four sheets. And they are lovely. Really, really pretty, great for planners or, if you if you like making mini cards, I know mini cards are actually quite fashionable at the moment, so they're great. So finally, last but by no means least, uh, the Love from Lizzie Pink Champagne Sequin Mix. So you do get oh, it's a bit buried. You do get a sampler bag of it in there, but if it's something that you know you like the look of and you like making lots of shaker cards, this is all good to go. This has got um, various size pinks, golds, and clear with an iridescence over the top. It's also got some little black hearts and seed beads so that when it shakes, I hope you can pick that up. It's, it actually has like a nice rattle to it, so it will be, it will be nice and effective in the card. So those are the recommended add-ons to go in with the July kit. Um, two additional things, which is kind of a bit of a spoiler alert, really, but I'm also going to make available because of this month spun sugar and scattered straw in the inches. So. You can add those in if um, if you don't already have them and take from it what you will about what's going to be coming going forward. There's no way I could really hide that. Um, but have, have a little look under the heading and see if maybe you spot anything else. I don't know what they could be. I mean, let's just say, for example, have they got a grey box? They do. So all the oxides are over in the shop as well. So if you want to add these into your kit boxes, I mean, by all means, order them all individually, but this is a really big deal for me. I'm um, able to start offering some of the products that I love to use myself, which is a real, a real, you know, confidence booster, I suppose. 
that um, we've got to the stage that I'm able to supply these these big brands, these big names. It's really it's really cool. Lots more exciting things to come. Um, and I promise there will be an update very soon because there are some enormous things in the pipeline. But I just don't want to jinx them until I've got contracts signed and everything is all in place. It's really important to me to um, hold on. Okay, right, so we've gone through those. Um, there were two mega packs released in the mid mid June release. We have Bundle of Joy and Sugar and Spice. I did do a live on YouTube running through these. So um, they are both up. The videos have been posted in the YouTube channels as well. And there are obviously also Sugar and Spice, Bundle of Joy, add-on stickers as well. So um, they are available in the shop. I'm just reminding you because they weren't done in one of the large releases and now for this month's mega packs we've got two new ones for you and we have got tea and cake and birthday birds so I'm going to start with this one as that's where I landed first I'm going to run through these quite quickly just so that you don't get bored of listening to me talk but these are in the usual format, unlike the baby ones. The baby ones were, um, they didn't have a stamp set. So these are the usual price and then you get the usual contents. So in tea and cake, two full sheets of non-shed green, like really spring green colored cardstock. In fact, let's turn um, you over right okay so here's the stamp set which are sentiments and they have like these really cutesy sort of little florals around them and there's like an arrow with a note to say amazing friend happy birthday best wishes love with love to you always thank you with love so these are handmade just for you which that's a really cute one to stick on the back of your card so um there's just a really cute stamp set there and oh, again it's enormous just hunting around for my ruler here I'm going to go in inches because the majority of my customers are American and Canadian so six and a quarter across by mm, 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 just over eight and a half long so that is a nice sizable stamp set and then we have the dies. So to give you a point of reference, the teapot is from spout to the end of the handle, two and a half inches and tall, just over two inches. So there's your teapot. You have a little um, tea cake stand, a teacup which has tea which you could paper piece. A slice of scrummy cake with a little cherry on top. Itty bitty cupcake, which naturally will sit perfectly atop. You have a larger cupcake with a cherry, although the shape of that makes me think it's a muffin. Am I making that up or is that is that a fact? Are muffins different shapes? But again, obviously these guys all fit nicely onto the stand and then there's another oh but you see that shape that looks more like a muffin to me now I can't decide <laughs> um, so you get three of those then there is like a, a little mini bunting die and I will when I do oh I nearly just gave away another surprise then I will show you how to use this die to elongate it so that in so that it doesn't have ends on it we'll just leave it at that and then you are also given a spoon and a fork. So and I have taken the liberty. This is what they look like. So obviously teed around the right way. But this teapot's really cute with the little um, the heart and the blooms in. There are only three cakes. You stand and you bunting. So it's that. And then the papers. The papers. 
Right, so as always, eight inches by eight inches. This, there is specialty papers. The specialty papers are single-sided and then just the printed papers are double. So specialties, you get two of each design. So you have these blooms in pearlescent and this is pearlescent as well with the hearts. This is a canvas finish. Now this reminds me very much of um, a designer called Kath Kitson. I don't know whether or not people have heard of her in the States. Whether or, I mean, she, I mean, maybe she's bigger there than she is here, I don't know. Maybe I'm really gonna embarrass myself here, but that's, um, these are gorgeous, these papers. And there's spot gloss, another spot gloss, and another spot gloss. So these are really like country um, papers. That's what makes me think of. Okay, and so now we're into the double-sided papers. So you have the green hearts, which are the same as those red ones there, with a the polka dot. You have little hearts in polka dot fashion and then um, sort of like a trellis almost. These really, really pretty. This is, again, this is like old-fashioned wallpaper. This is the sort of thing that reminds me of my nans. I love that in the baby blue. And then there's different sized polka dots there. This looks like lace. Um, like lace printed in sort of a it's a really warm red uh, and then that all oh, they look like sequins because they're polka dots with tiny weeny little dots in the middle <laughs> and here this is this is sort of the Kath Kitson um, style and it is it is beautiful and it's so summery and so fresh and there's polka dots the same as these blue but in the red and here you have this a very sweet little um, floral arrangement on white and that's the negative so the blue with the white blooms and then the white with the blue blooms and then here you have stripes and then another a bloom pattern and here we have a green and on the back a gingham and then here you have the full repeat again so exactly the same as this twice so that is the tea and cake mega pack which I can't wait to make with. I've had, um, I've had this, these ideas sitting here for quite some time now to do this mega pack and I'm, I'm so pleased that I'm doing it. Summer has brought lots of very happy and lovely crafting delights. But Summer has also changed my little boy into a bit of a terror. He, um, he's discovered that when he wakes up first thing in the morning, because it's light here at the crack of dawn now, he's up at five o'clock in the morning and when he's up at that time he goes and helps himself in the freezer to an ice cream before he wakes mummy up so short of me setting my alarm for quarter to five in the morning my son is having chocolate and mint ice cream for breakfast so I think mummy is going to have to invest in another stair gate because of that cheeky little chap <laughs> unless anyone else has got any suggestions if anyone has lived through a similar situation with their little tyrants sneaking to the, get the uh, to get the noughties, if, if it was one morning, you know, the first time we did it, it was funny. The second time we did it, I was a little bit like, okay, Carson, now we're like, let's not. And now it's now it's just he's eating all of the ice creams now, so we don't have any. So yes, piggy by name, piggy by nature. <laughs> okay, so. Here are the birthday birds. So the A4 for this is not the glitter. This is pearlescent card. This is 300 GSM, which is approximately the equivalent of 110 pounds. So it's really thick cardstock. Um, and then also black mirror. Now, you don't need to see me, but okay, you can see the camera rig. So it's got a very high gloss black. So they are the two sheets of A4 that you get. And the reason that you've got those colours is because of the dyes. So these dyes would work great as silhouettes. So I thought these two colours, and they match nicely with the papers. So you've got like a hummingbird, you've got birds on a wire, which I think is lovely. You have a feather. You have, I'm guessing an eagle in flight i don't know if i'm honest here um that could be a sparrow i suppose or a robin or i'm, I'm sure there's going to be some 
bird enthusiasts here that are going to be able to correct me. But then you have another stood bird. This I'm sure is a swallow, beautiful bird. And a little birdhouse. So they are the dies that come. And the shapes they cut, they're quite, it's quite clear by those, but that's what they look like, obviously not to scale. And this stamp set, let's just use the back of here. So these are really good stash building stamps because they're very traditional. So it's a thank you on your special day, celebrate, congratulations to you, to someone very special. So you've got a really nice um, staple stamp set to have in your in your um, your kit your your kit. Sorry, <laughs> I've just done the unboxing video as well. I'm trying to get all my videos in line nicely. So yeah, so a really good stamp set to have in your stash. Now, as as ever. 8x8, eight eight, two of each sheet. So, and these are gorgeous. So you've got glitter, two of those. These, these are like oriental butterflies, ever so pretty. And these, these like, I think that's cherry blossom. I believe it is. And again, these have got a very oriental feel, which again, works lovely with the birds. And this, the heron, Oh, I'm hoping that I'm not making a fool of myself. This is a canvas texture now. These are all glitters. And then these stripes. They're like jade. And that's sort of like a, an olive green as well. It's a really nice combination. Not one that I would usually think to put together when I'm making cards. So something different. And so we've got pearlescent papers here now. And this is very traditional orient from, you know, for what I would assume you've got this this sort of beautiful butterfly with these hanging blooms and yeah stunning okay now we're into the double sided and what I've done on this one is I have put the second sheet the other way up so you can see every pattern so you have the cherry blossoms the same as this but with the green and on the back is a like a mottled green you have an oriental flower on the back you have a damask then you have sort of like a geometric print and on the back you have strokes this is um asian calligraphy i don't know which particular language that is so i'm not going to commit with um like a scallop on the back and then you have these leaves and they look like they've been printed onto like bamboo um, and then you've got like a mottled background and then these are more of this blooms but this is bigger which is gorgeous and on the back the stripes and then you have, they, they look like shells almost, like a tiny scallop pattern. And then on the reverse, you have these circles. And then you have this bloom with the back. And that is just a flat red in the same color. So that is the birthday birds. So you've seen everything that there is in the July release. I hope, um, I hope you like it. If you add these into your kit boxes, shipping is capped anywhere in the world to £19.50 so you can order as much as you like and I have now got bigger box, you'll be pleased, pleased to hear. Um, any questions, please do feel free to pop them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Otherwise, do take care. Thanks ever so much for sticking with me. There'll be a few still shots now for you to have a little look at of the various bits and pieces and take care. Thanks very much and happy paper crafting. Bye.